Uh, there was no way to be accustomed to something like this. It's never been done before, you know. Um, the cameras look different. Uh, a lot of the times the actors that, that are, are uh, relating to the title character are looking straight down the barrel of the lens. It's an incredibly immersive uh, medium. Um, it's more information than your eye has ever received in a given second. And so as an actor, there are certain things that you can sort of, uh, there are certain veneers that you can hide behind and you know that people don't see necessarily everything. And in this case, it's the most visible, it's the most present uh, uh, filmmaking um, that we've seen, apparently. I haven't seen it, but that's Aang's goal. In using all of this technology that I barely understand, all he wants to do is to get to the truth of something and the humanity of something because he truly loves performances and figuring us out, figuring himself out. And uh, I think that he, he thinks that he's gotten one step closer than anyone ever has. So I cannot wait to see what it looks like. Well, it's understanding soldier, coming of age. I'm, I'm 61, you know, reaching 62, I still feel like coming of age. But uh, really the, the story from the book really attracts me. It, it, it puts a young soldier's sensation from the battlefield to a halftime show. It's just a great dramatic uh, uh, setup to examine uh, humanity, to examine society. Uh, I think it's a very timely subject matter too. The, the equipment is uh, clumsy. We're not quite there yet, so we make do. That's why it's so difficult. I think eventually we're trying to uh, capture the detail of uh, natural performances and happenings as, as if we're there. I, I think that's, that's the effort. But uh, the, the equipment is quite clumsy. Uh, it doesn't look organic, but the purpose is to get it organic, not uh, theatrical, so to speak. Well, Crown Zag is pretty difficult. I made that movie in China in 1999. I hang people around in bamboo forests. That's pretty difficult too. But uh, technically, this is a lot harder because conceptually, uh, this is something new. So we make do as we uh, shooting. Uh, that's a lot of pressure. It's quite difficult. is such a visionary with the technology uh, it was amazing and uh, his direction was amazing uh, it was just a good time it's a good time so I play Billy Lynn uh, he's like a 19 year old boy he's a soldier um, who's been brought back to the US for this victory tour because he's being caught on camera in this supposed act of heroism in this firefight in Iraq and it's essentially at his heart a coming of age story for him and him finding out who he is in the world and where he belongs and where he wants to go and who he wants to be. What really happened over there?